Hola, I'm Kyle from the Gwinnett County Public Library, and welcome to Virtual Hispanic Heritage Month, part of the series, where we will be creating art based on famous Hispanic artists. But there is a catch, you can only use materials found around your home. This week, we will be exploring the work of Mexican painter Frida Kahlo by drawing self-portraits with crayons. Why self-portraits, you ask? In 1925, a bus accident left Frida to find her bed with a mirror, an easel, and paint. In her own words, I paint myself because I am often alone and I am the subject I know best. So let's get started. Begin by grabbing your crayons, paper, and a pencil to do a rough outline, and find a place with good lighting and a mirror. A bathroom, which is where I'm doing mine, is an excellent choice. However you want to proceed is totally up to you. The key is to keep your eyes on the mirror for most of the time. Don't focus on the paper, just draw what you see. As you continue drawing, make sure to really grind the crayon into the paper. In real time, this drawing took me about 30 minutes to complete, but I've sped it up to fit the video. In the meantime, let's visit some facts about Frida Kahlo you may not know. In addition to the near-fatal bus accident, Frida had already been diagnosed with polio at the age of six. This led to only partial use of her right leg. Later in life, she would have to use a prosthetic leg, which she designed herself. Frida was also fiercely proud of her Mexican heritage. In fact, although she was born on July 6, 1907, she lied about her age saying she was born on July 7, 1910, which coincides with the same year as the Mexican Revolution. In nearly all of Frida's self-portraits, she rarely cracked a smile. Why? Simple reason. She hated her smile and she hated her teeth. However, this did not stop her from becoming a style icon. She created her own hairstyles and played up her unibrow, which had now become iconic.
Are you tired of looking at yourself yet? I hope not. In the words of Frida Kahlo, I am my own muse, I am the subject I know best, the subject I want to better. Well, what do you think? Twins? Maybe if I squint really hard. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the first segment of Virtual Hispanic Heritage Month RS series. Join us next time on September 22nd, when Trisha will be exploring the artwork of Dominican painter Scheherazade Garcia. Until next time, adios. Thank you.